Hey Virgo, welcome into my channel. I'm going to be looking at your love life today, Virgo. Catching up with you guys and seeing what's been going on. So I'm going to be looking at the person you guys are currently thinking of, Virgo. This could be somebody that you are already with. Um, somebody new coming towards you guys. Um, an established relationship. Uh, now, this doesn't have to be an intimate per uh, partner, okay? This could be a family member or a very close friend, okay? Um, anybody who um, you guys just hold close, okay? Close to your heart, Virgo. Um, going to be checking in with you and this person, okay? Uh, now, if this does not sound like your story, please do check your other placements, Virgo. Or you can cross-watch for somebody, of course. Check their other placements if you want to be a little extra nosy, Virgo. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling first from the Messages of Love Oracle deck, and then I'm going to be uh, jumping right into Tarot, and then I will close off the, uh, the reading, of course, with um, uh, a different uh, deck of oracles for you guys. So let's see what's going on, Virgo. I hope you guys have been doing well, and um, the sun literally just came out for your reading, which I love. It has been cloudy and rainy here all morning. So, um, all right, Virgo, first we've got daydreaming, okay? I am always longing for you. So it's a sweet energy, okay? It could be um, this person even daydreaming about you, um, somebody that you're just thinking about um, in a very nostalgic, um, sweet way, okay? Um, then, yeah, then we've got absence, okay? I feel like a part of me is missing without you. So, um, yeah, Virgo, this could definitely be... Um, somebody that you guys already know, all right? Um, even if you guys are physically with this person, you could just think of them all the time. There's almost a feeling of wanting to be able to spend more time with this person, okay? Um, uh, then we've got destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path, okay? Now, this could very much mean that the two of you guys um, could possibly be thinking uh, what the future holds, okay? Individually, what your future holds. Um, and what the connection, you know, would be like uh, if there were things were to move forward for the both of you guys. Um, okay, and then we've got mend. I want to fix our connection. Okay, so right off the bat, yeah, looking at, um, you know, what the future would be like between the two of you guys. Um, how to fix things, how to move forward, um, what uh, the future of this connection, you know, holds, okay? Um, a lot of thinking here, a lot of reminiscing, a lot of, I feel like um, somebody here is really wanting um, more, okay, uh, more physicality, more, uh, there's a missing here for sure. Sorry about this loud, distracting crow in the background. Uh, it's slightly distracting me. Okay, I don't know if it's as loud for you guys, but... Um, it is for me. All right. Actually, before I clarify it, um, now I do have uh, pulled for you. Now this person, the way that this person feels towards you, we've got the beautiful, um, strong, charismatic king of wands here, uh, fiery, beautiful fire energy here. Um, very strong, confident, bold. Now the king of wands, like I said earlier, has a very clear um, uh, vision for the future. Okay. And this person wants to take action on that. Um, or they, you know, they have in the past, this is what they want to do now. Um, this person's a visionary, okay? They want to, they visualize, and this could be where I saw this daydreamy energy here. Um, they visualize, they're very creative, artistic, um, or they view you that way, Virgo. Um, they want to visualize uh, what they want to create, for the future okay could be a bit of a dreamy energy here but the king of wands is equipped and he's experienced to take action um he's not just a dreamer okay he is a creative uh builder and will build things um uh and take action okay that uh he's not just a talker okay he takes action and if he wants, he, he goes after what he wants. And if that's you, Virgo, he will definitely uh, take action towards you. He, she, you know, um, doesn't matter. Sex doesn't matter. Now, you, um, now you've got, in your feelings towards this person, seven of pentacles. So it's a bit of an evaluation. Um, <clears throat> you're evaluating things. Now, this could have been something longstanding, okay? This could have been time... You may have known this person for a while, Virgo, okay? Um, 
I feel like I'm looking at a Virgo who is wondering, uh, are you going to say what you're, you know, do what you're going to say here um, to this person? Um, are you all talk, no action? Because the seven of pentacles could also be very, very slow growth. Okay. Needing to have a lot of patience, um, wanting, you know, possibly wanting things to move at a little bit faster pace than they have moved. You're wanting to be very, very careful in what you plant, where you plant your investments. Okay. Because it can be, um, like I said, a, a bit of a slow growing energy and you're wanting to make sure that, uh, you know, where you put your energy, where you put your time is going to reap those rewards, uh, to you. Now it is a, it's not a negative card. It's just, a, it can be a very positive card, but it's a time of, um, uh, reaping what it is that you've harvested. Okay. You've already harvested something. You've already put in the work. Now you're waiting to harvest that. And sometimes those crops uh, don't harvest what we want, you know, depending on the weather, depending on if there's been enough rain that season, right? Uh, sometimes we don't get everything that we wanted that season. And sometimes it's plentiful and we've reaped, you know, a beautiful harvest. So it's, it's a card of let's wait and see, okay? Now, um, this person, the way that they view you, okay, a lot of love, all right, a lot of, a bit of a dreaminess here, but um, very romantic, okay, very romantic. Now, if this isn't a card of romance, okay, if this is a platonic energy, then this is just a big heart space, wanting to take action and move forward uh, towards you um, in a very open-hearted, expressive um, type of way, okay, a vulnerability here. And you've got the sun, okay, so these are two beautiful energies towards each other the sun and the king of cups when this person expresses to you it makes you feel seen virgo it makes you feel seen it makes you feel warm it makes you feel um happy okay at the end of the day when the two of you uh converse when the two of you are in each other's presence you do feel very happy virgo and you do feel um seen heard validated the two of you guys validate each other's feelings and it is quite positive um, a lot of um, uh, mutual feelings here. Um, you shine the sun on each other. And now there could be a little bit of, um, there could be, okay, a little bit of um, inconsistency possibly. All right. Now we'll see upon clarification, but it looks like at some point down the road here, there was a very sweet um, kind of romance here. Like I said, if it's platonic, the two of you, um, you feel uh, good, all right, at the very least when you're with each other, and um, warmth, okay, positivity, happiness. Um, the two of you work well together, and you learn a lot from each other. Now, um, actions towards each other. This person, again, uh, very beautiful, okay, high priestess, so very intuitive. Now, when this person is with you or around you, um, they, I feel like they feel a deep soul connection to you, Virgo. Okay. They feel like you were put on their path. Um, you've been part of their destiny. It's a very strong soul connection, soul mate connection, especially with the Knight of Cups, the sun here. Um, there is a feeling here that the two of you can connect on a soul level, Virgo, without a lot of words being spoken. Okay. It's easy to connect with each other sun high priestess the when the two of you think about each other um warm feelings come up okay it's a kindred spirit type of feeling here um and then your actions towards them uh, it feels like you've known this person for a long time time has passed here and this may be a connection that the two of you um have upheld for a long time okay virgo um yeah the two of you have upheld for a long time, okay? You've learned a lot, I do feel, from this person, from this connection. The two of you may have had ups and downs in this relationship, okay? Um, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. There's something here about, on your side especially, like the ups and downs, okay? Like I was speaking about in the Seven of Pentacles, you know, sometimes you reap good things, amazing things from... Uh, you know, your crops that year. Okay, sorry, I keep going back to farming, but if any of you guys know anything about that, you know, 
if you get good rain, if you get good snow, if you get a lot of sun that spring, your crops, what you, the seeds that you have planted uh, for that winter uh, sprout beautifully in the spring. Um, but a lot of it's dependent upon more than just us. It's dependent, again, here, this is fate, okay? Fate is indicated with the Wheel of Fortune. We can do everything we can try to do as long as we're doing the work, planting those seeds, um, the universe comes in and then um, gives us that perfect weather, gives us everything that we need. And some years we do reap amazing things in that harvest. And some years it's not as plentiful. But the, um, the hope, okay, is that we will always be given everything that we need here with the will of fortune. And I do feel like with the two of you guys, the actions towards each other is actually quite beautiful. It's like, that with the high priestess and the will of fortune over time, okay, and, and this is a very divine connection, okay, um, this is karma, this is destiny, this is um, bigger forces than just us being at play, and a deep soul connection, okay, that's that's played out over time and that will continue to, um, quite beautiful. Now, the, uh, the three of pentacles, Virgo, um, between, this is the mutual energy, okay, between the two of you guys, learning lessons, working together. Um, could be that the two of you guys had or built this on a strong friendship, okay? Um, you could even work with this person, Virgo. They could be a part of your community. Um, the two of you guys could be building something together or just learning a lot of lessons. There could be some type of mentorship here. Um, yeah, or somebody... Um, you know, wanting to build something, okay? Something about, yeah, um, relearning, okay? Relearning how to do something possibly with each other. Yeah, or or something about learning here, learning from each other possibly. So let's jump into clarifying, Virgo. Let's see. I'm so happy that the sun came up all morning. I was like, oh, feeling like I really wanted to do a reading, but I'm such a seasonal... I'm such a sun person that when it's cloudy, I swear, I really have to push myself, it feels like. Not just to do readings, but like to do anything. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let's see. King of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. King of Wands. Show me. Why does this person have the beautiful... Now also Virgo, this is a lot of confidence, okay? Uh, confidence and um, the King of Wands can sometimes be a little overly prideful, but we'll see. Thank you, Spirit. Show me why the King of Wands or how this person feels towards Virgo. Thank you. King of Wands, thank you. Oop, just saw the Ace of Cups there. The star, wow, wow, the ace of swords and the king of wands again. Okay, so strong emphasis there on the king of wands. He is being uh, clarified by the king of wands himself. So this person wants to, uh, like I said, take a very strong, bold action towards you. Um, definitely communicating their hopes and desires towards you here with the big star. There's some pressure here, okay? Uh, this person could be pressuring themselves uh, to communicate with you, to express um, their hopes and desires towards you, to express their attraction towards you, um, or they could be, um, and or, they could be um, feeling like they've got to let you know, okay? Or there, there could be like this, um, this pressure to um, perform or... Um, to deliver, okay, to be everything that they feel like you need them to be, Virgo, or that, you know, they feel like you see in them, okay? Um, this person, uh, yeah, with the star here, Aquarius energy, um, this person is really wanting to show you that they can, all right, that they are capable, that they are mature enough to um, come through for you, Virgo. Wow. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. 
Okay, Nine of Swords. Oh, wow. My goodness. I just got the star again, but it's from a different deck. It's not even supposed to be in this deck. We'll take that, though. Noted. Um, I feel like this person... Now, flip the rolls as you need to, but I feel like this person has really pressured themselves to perform in some type of way or to deliver something to you, to be all that you need them to be or vice versa. They feel like you, okay, had some type of vision possibly, okay, but there's there's a bit of pressure here. because only And I'm, I'm only saying that though because I've seen the Nine of Swords here to the world. Yeah. To the High Priestess. Yeah. Someone is wanting to be careful, all right, not to um, not to make a, a wrong decision, okay? Um, someone's trying to change, okay, the way that they view love, the way that they go about expressing love. Somebody may have uh, be having a lot of deep spiritual um, uh, epiphanies right now, okay, even. Now, why do you view them Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles for Virgo. Show me the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo. Thank you. Ten of Cups. Six of Pentacles. High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like, you know, um, you know, you you are doing a lot right now for, for the family. Possibly if you have a family with this person. Ten of Cups. Six of Pentacles. To the High Priestess. It's like you feel intuitively that you know that this is what you need to do. I think I'm looking at two people who, you know, I have a very clear vision, okay, for the future of the family, of the relationship. And it's like, I will do what I need to do and I'll, you know, you do what you need to do. I'll do what I need to do um, because it's the right thing to do, okay? Um, but the high priestess here, again, very strong soul connection. Um, it's a feeling of um, also a bit of a mysterious, um, she can be very quiet here, very sensual though. Okay, very sensual, um, you know, uh, type of energy with the high priestess. Um, interesting. Why the high priestess, though? Yeah. I mean, I see all good things here so far, Virgo. I feel like, Virgo, you're just looking for your right path, okay, with this person. Something may have happened here in the past, all right? I feel like you guys are wanting to fix this connection uh, and make it better than it was before. There could have been um, a decision here, all right? A choice to end things, to walk away from things. I feel like somebody does not want that to happen, okay? I feel like somebody's trying to hold on to this relationship. Somebody may have at one point wanted to go towards something new, um, but I feel like, uh, there's some type of judgment call. Okay. Um, atonement for the past that needs to be made and whether or not to restore. Okay. Work on this connection, fix this connection. Um, somebody may be understanding now what it would be like to lose this connection and how important it is to them. Okay. Yeah. Why the Knight of cups for this? Why does um, this person view Virgo in the Knight of Cups? Show me the Knight of Cups for Virgo. Towards this. Okay. Interesting. Five of Swords. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, for some of you guys, um, I feel like, huh? Actually, before I say anything, I want to clarify why you have the sun. Let me see. Why does Virgo have the sun towards this person? Show me, Virgo. Why does Virgo have the sun towards this person? Thank you. Thank you. 
Ace of Wands, King of Pentacles. Okay, this person I feel like gave you uh, a little bit of confusion, Virgo. Okay, you were slightly confused. You had a, a little bit of a back and forth type of energy. Um, I feel like this person at some time, at some point, they may have, all right, um, I don't know if this person was like flirty with other people, giving other people their attention, um, or just because we've got the five of swords here with the three of cups, okay? This can be, I don't like the five of swords, okay, with the knight of cups. I mean, the knight of cups usually is a card of like flirty, romance, you know, um, expressing love, but with the three of cups to the five of swords, it can be an energy of like uh, an arrogance, okay, an arrogance and wanting the attention of others possibly, okay, um, to make themselves feel good, all right, uh, because it can be a very selfish energy um, at the expense of others, okay, at the expense of hurting others. Um, this is a very celebratory energy, three of cups. Um, Now, it could have just been, like I said, you know, a selfish energy, okay? But then we've got the Hierophant and um, the Three of Cups, I'm sorry, the King, the Queen of Cups, if I can talk. Um, so that energy actually looks better, okay? That's a, that's a more grounded, stable energy. It looks like if this person um, was acting, you know, like a like an ass at one point or feels that you were okay because this is how they feel to, uh, they view you so you know they could be saying that you know they want you to be more committed okay they want you to be more open in your heart space and a little bit less um somebody here is showing attention to other people okay and it looks like it irritates uh someone else now you virgo you say that you're happy okay um you're happy being in charge of your home and your family Okay, queen and king of pentacles. You're happy being in control of your finances, um, in control of your your household. Um, you are very stable on your own. And honestly, um, there's some type of new opportunity coming towards you, okay? Because in your energy, you've got the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands, okay? There's something new coming in for you, Virgo. And it could intimidate this person a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to say. It could intimidate this person just a little bit. Hmm. You've got a lot of new opportunities coming in for you. Now, I do see that I'm also looking at a Virgo who has not forgotten their family, has not forgotten their responsibilities to their family, their children, whatever, their home, their finances. Okay, and at the end of the day... Um, you are showing me king and queen of pentacles. This is a beautiful match. But I feel like this person over here, they might have a slight tendency to um, be slightly arrogant, okay? And uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a slight um, bit of overconfidence, okay? Yeah. A little bit over there now for some of you guys they're accusing you of this they're saying that that's how you are but I'm not here to take sides Virgo that's this is just the energy that I'm reading um, you are kind of in between both worlds okay you're in between, it says that you're giving a lot, okay? You're, you're giving so, so much. Now you're also receiving, okay? But you understand, okay, and you feel that uh, it's your turn to receive, okay, Virgo? Uh, you're also telling me that it could be, yeah, you feel like you're owed something, Virgo. 
No, you don't want to ever feel like we're owed something from this person. But I feel like you, because in your how you feel towards this person, Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, which I feel like means that you've been possibly at times over giving and not receiving enough. Then we move on to the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so, so this is something being given to you, which uh, I feel like you're saying with the High Priestess here, you feel like. Uh, you're ready to receive this, okay? You're listening to your intuition, very much so. Now, this person also has a high priestess here in their actions towards you. So this person could be knowing, okay, and feeling like they need to give you more, okay? Let me see the high priestess uh, for this person's uh, actions. Thank you, Spirit. Actually... I'm going to use a different deck for this part. If I can get it. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, show me High Priestess, this person's actions. Thank you. Yeah, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups. Again, interesting. Uh, High Priestess for Virgo. Thank you. Why does this person have the High Priestess? Four, there we go. The Empress, good. The Five of Wands and the Magician. Mm, okay. So yeah, this person is saying that um, they feel that they can overcome, okay, the conflict. They're recognizing that there has been some form, okay, some time of conflict between you guys, possibly other people involved, other energies, um, possibly Virgo, even some competition, some type of competition okay involved here but that they they feel that they can overcome that okay um they feel that they can take action that will prove um uh, fruitful okay and prosperous wow the magician twice to the ten of swords though yeah, they're saying that they feel that they can work through, all right, um, whatever, if there was an ending here. But why the Ten of Swords? Yeah. You know, now for some of you guys, just for some of you guys, if you decide to end this, if this person decides to end this, um, or this could just be a lot of pain, okay, um, with the Ten of Swords, okay? But I feel like someone wants to work through that, all right, with the Eight of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. This is recognition, okay, working through things, um, hard work and dedication, okay, to achieve, okay, to find a successful resolution, okay, to that. Now... You, though, are showing me the two of pentacles, okay, over the king and queen of pentacles. So this is two people, okay, and you're kind of going back and forth with it. Hmm. I see a lot of new things coming in for you, though. You've got two aces on your side. Now, what you do with this, Virgo, is completely up to you. Uh, you've got the wheel of fortune here. So... Show me the Wheel of Fortune. Show me the Wheel of Fortune for my beautiful Virgo. One more shuffle. Wheel of Fortune for Virgo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're being very bold about your future. Okay. Wow. To the Ten of Cups. To the Five of uh, Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Virgo, whatever it is that you decide to do, okay, if you decide to walk away from this, um, it's because this is your truth, okay, with the Ace of Swords. Yeah. This is because this is what you desire. But I do see, now for some of you guys, this there's two storylines here. For some of you guys, you're going to want to fix this connection, okay? And you're going to do it because you feel bold here. Now, we do have two matching sweetmates two pairs of them, king and queen of pentacles. And then you're showing me the queen of wands 
this person's showing me the king of wands so and but you're both pulling uh, ace of swords so this is about very clear communication okay sometimes this could be also about heated especially with the king and queen of wands here because they're fiery they're passionate they don't mince words okay and because they're so fiery and passionate they can get you know heated okay but uh with that um, they're gonna deliver okay you're going to deliver uh, exactly how you feel, uh, what you want to say to this person. And, um, it could be, you know, Hey, um, things have been this way for a long time. Okay. I've been unhappy for a long time. I need things to change. Okay. With this wheel of fortune. Um, this has been a pattern we've been experiencing for a long time. I need growth. I need change. I need more freedom. Um, for some of you guys, for others of you guys, the Ten of Cups does trump the Five of Pentacles, okay? So feeling of lack, feeling of hard times, that wheel turns, and then you, you move into the beautiful, okay, Ten of Cups. So depending on where you guys are in the energy, okay, when I read for multiple people, uh, it just depends on where you are, okay, in this, the energy, okay? Now for some of you guys, yes, you will... Um, if you've moved out of uh, the state of lack and hard times, you will mend this, okay? Um, yeah, death to the nine of cups, okay? This is leaving behind things that no longer serve you. Um, a mindset, a way of life, okay? Yeah, yeah. Moving towards uh, things that make you happy. Letting go of uh, burdens and responsibilities. I see... A Virgo here, I'm looking at a Virgo who is moving on, who is leaving the past behind, who is surrounding themselves with friends, family, um, you know, uh, wanting to go out, wanting to have fun again, okay? Um, changing your mindset. Um, yeah, wanting to move in a direction that just feels freer, Virgo. Uh, more aligned, okay? More aligned with the Virgo, the person that you are now, okay? It's actually quite beautiful. Yeah. Now let me see. Um, yeah. This is a big release, Virgo. Letting go of the things that no longer serve you. People, places, things. And I see you expressing that to this person. There's going to be some big talks here. Major completion here between the two of you guys. Now, doesn't mean you have to physically separate, okay? But the two of you are going through big completions. And you're either going to reinvent the relationship or walk away from the relationship and the universe will then bring you a new relationship that is uh, aligned with where you are now, okay? But not instantly, okay? You've got to, you know, find inner peace and happiness first. Remember, we are always okay, better than okay on our own. We have to be before we can, uh, you know, be happy with another person. Now show me, now I do have the Eight of Cups here for you. So again, this is um, a journey towards self-fulfillment, towards happiness, but it's on your own. Yeah, the swords, the chariot. You're leaving, yeah. You are leaving something behind quickly, Virgo. It could be a mindset, okay? Um, it could be a way of doing things, all right, here with the Eight of Cups to the Five of Swords, Virgo. This could be a mentality that just no longer serves you, and you're walking away from that, or that's what you're being um, called, okay, by the universe to do, Virgo, is to leave behind um, self-sabotage, okay, is what this is about. There's something here, someone here had a tendency to self-sabotage. Now, this person here, they drew the five of swords and the knight of cups in the way they view you. Now, they're saying, okay, that there's a self-sabotaging tendency here, okay, um, especially when it comes to emotions, okay, um, that you are being encouraged, Virgo, to, um, not let your emotions, okay, and not let your mind, your way of thinking, negative thoughts get in the way of you moving forward, like just moving forward and really embracing your Ten of Pentacles, okay? Now we've got Ten of Cups. This actually looks quite beautiful, okay? 
whatever it is that you seek, Virgo, is also seeking you because then we move into the beautiful Ace of Cups here. So moving, okay, moving and not letting obstacles, not letting your mind or negative thinking get in your way, using the strength of your will, Virgo, and moving forward, um, stepping into your, your legacy, okay, your love, and looking at um, your life in a more positive way. This is a spiritual um, renewal, okay? This is deep deep emotions here lie within the family unit okay and um a powerful force that will help you to overcome um yeah whatever type of self-sabotaging or i'm not saying that that's you virgo uh, this could be this person or possibly you know even when the two of you are together here um but i do see you moving past that virgo and actually being quite feeling you know, getting back on the right path, okay? There could have been a struggle here to get on or find the right path, but I feel like you're going to um, actually get get right back on your path, Virgo. Yeah, Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving. You're on your way, Virgo, okay? It's going to require um, a change in perception, okay? And uh, really trying to use your mind, okay, in a different way. Judgment. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of fast growth, okay. There could be a, a big decision that you need to make, Virgo. Um, now, this could be, um, it could be, the judgment can speak about second chances at times, okay. But um, it can also speak about uh, quickly, okay, leaving something behind, okay, and moving. It's, it's I'm seeing here with the chariot, judgment, it's about, um, you know, looking at your past, making uh, peace with your past so that you can make fast progress forward, okay? Uh, it's quite beautiful. Um, any closing cards? Actually, I want to get... Um, I'd like to get some closing oracles uh, for you, Virgo. So yeah, I do see you guys. Um, you got some big decisions to make, Virgo. And of course, you have free will always. You guys can always, um, you know, you guys should always make the decision that feels right to you. Use your intuition. But I see a lot of beautiful things coming in for you. Home, family, legacy, finances look good. Um... Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Virgo, show me Virgo. Any closing messages for them? Thank you. Virgo. Closing messages for the beautiful Virgo. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Self-indulgence. Okay. Focus on yourself. Self-worth. This is the time to heal. Do your shadow work. Absolutely. And appreciate yourself. Self-appreciation. Yes. I love that card. Okay. That's a beautiful one. Mask. Someone here was wearing a mask, not showing their true feelings, hiding, uh, personifying, uh, pretending, and gaslighting. Mm -hmm. And we saw that in that Five of Swords energy. Okay. Don't let them just... Yeah. And But I see you... Okay. Then the outcome someone's walking away from that okay and i that's you virgo you are leaving that meant behind okay uh keys on a ring uh, somebody had many options a uh, big decision here um unconventional felt strung along um yeah and then a one night stand hmm. okay i don't know if that applies to you guys uh talking okay um interested conversing more awaited an awaited message arrives a text a call an email okay all right yeah definitely saw that with the uh multiple ace of swords okay and then cassette let go of outdated thinking um old conditioning replaying events over in your head yes yes um you know Letting go of that, I do see with that Eight of Cups, you walking away from that. And we end on paradise. Wonderful. Um, happiness, okay. Expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying other people, enjoying each other. Yeah. Wow, Virgo. 
yeah, definitely two different storylines here for some of you guys. I feel like this um, this can be mended, okay, with a lot of open and honest communication, okay, and time. And for others of you guys, um, you've got one uh, ace of wands, ace of pentacles, ace of swords, okay? You've got a lot of new new opportunities. Oh, and Ace of Cups, you have all the aces, Virgo. I hope you waited till the end of this reading. Yeah, Virgo, this is a whole new world is coming in for you guys. This is going to be a big uh, cycle completion. And um, it's never easy letting go of these things. But with such a big cycle ending here, um, there's going to be a lot of new, okay, a lot of new coming in. So just take that time to yourself. Um, rest and you know uh self you know indulge yourself and uh meaning you know of course uh to do it in healthy ways um spend time with healthy people and um you know just uh you know do things that make you feel loved and appreciated and um yeah you've got a lot of beautiful things coming in for you so many many blessings to all of you guys thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys if this resonated, please don't forget to hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you guys so much. Bye.